Welcome to your last week of class. So this is our last module before the final product and I wanted to make sure everyone understood what to do. So the goals this week are to review what we have learned and take time to reflect. So you'll see that there is, when it loads, an article called Top 10 Instructional Strategies for Struggling Students. Um, please read this and, and then think about um, the tools that we have talked about in class and the models we've talked about, uh, what you've learned in the discussion post from your other classmates, and compose your own top 10 list. If, you were going to teach this class what would be your top 10 instructional models and or strategies that you think every teacher should know about that are really effective for helping students. And you will post this on our class Padlet. So you'll click here and the Padlet will come up. Um, make sure that you type your name here. Uh, I had one person that didn't have a name last time, so. And then write your top 10 list. If you wanna include links, you can hyperlink, um, especially if it's uh, something that the other students in the class may not know, then it would be really good to include a hyperlink. Um, if you don't remember everything we talked about, you can go back to this first activity we did, the models of instruction knowledge inventory and think about all of these things. Now, we didn't necessarily talk about all of them, like dialogic pedagogy um, or drama-based pedagogy, etc. It really depended on what, um, I only added the things that students, a lot of students wanted to add, but it'll just refresh your memory. Also, that first week we did a voice thread and you wrote a definition of teaching. And I wonder if your definition has changed. So what you'll do is I will link the voice thread again. Um, you will look here and you can write a comment to your original voice thread. Um, there's also a way for you to just write your reflection here, if that's easier for you. So you'll go back to the voice thread, look and see what you said, and then you'll either write a comment on that voice thread or just do it here. Any, either way, I'll get your reflection of how your definition has changed or become stronger. Um, think about those big three questions. What has confirmed, challenged, or changed your definition? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I just linked it next. All right, so here it is. You can look for your image. Okay, now you will take the Teaching for Global Readiness survey again. Um, if you remember last, hold on. Okay, that was noisy. If you remember at the beginning of the semester when I asked you to take the survey, I asked you to save your results as a PDF. Don't look at them yet. Um, take the survey again and then pull out that PDF and compare your results. I really would like for you to post because I think that you could receive feedback from other, um, other students in the class to help you think about how to get better at some areas that you want to get better. So you don't have to post your results, but just in this discussion board, talk about what areas you have improved on and what areas you would like to improve on in the future. That way other students can maybe give some ideas like um, resources or activities or seminars or workshops or books or readings or lesson plans or just resources in general to help you reach your goals or events too. Okay, um, your final project is due next week. So here's a place for you to put your draft product and then I have the module set so that on December 6th, it, everyone who has posted a product here will be assigned a peer review 
and the peer will review your product and provide feedback for you. So if you submit it here, um, then on December 6th, by December 6th, then on December 6th, it will automatically give you a peer to review their document so that everyone has a chance to have somebody look at their document before you turn it in to me. If you're not able to get it in, because I know due dates can be a problem for some of the people in this course, if you're not able to get it in, then it's on you to find somebody to read it before you turn it in. You should not turn in anything as a final product in any course before having someone else review it. All right, and then that's the end of module seven. So. I look forward to hearing your reflections and your thoughts and um, also you should be getting a link for the course evaluations. Those are really important to me. I want to make this course the best it can be and I want to become the best teacher I can be and I need your help to do that. So if you can please complete the course evaluations for the university, that would be awesome too. Thanks so much.